Hello everyone. I thought uh, today I would make a video about milkweed, uh, what to look for, why it's important, why it's helpful, uh, what it does and where you can find it. And just an overall general video about milkweed. Okay, so to identify it, you've got this long stalk here that grows straight up and it has these leaves that come out from that stalk. They're usually elongated like so but the real indicator is when you split these things open that is where they get their name there is a milky substance that comes from the leaves and the stems and hence they call it milkweed right and that'll definitely give it away if you peel a little bit of this off or you pinch a little bit of the leaf you'll see that milky substrate coming out of those leaves and you'll know right away that it's probably milkweed you're talking about milkweed, you're, you're talking about a lot of different, there's a lot of different species of milkweed. So you've got common milkweed, like the one seen here. So you've got butterfly weed, swamp milkweed, Mexican butterfly weed, showy milkweed, world milkweed, purple milkweed, narrow leaf milkweed, antelope horns, Indian milkweed. There's a bunch of milkweed. So at the top here, you're going to see these pods. So these pods are essentially the seeds of the milkweed. And they're usually, for the use described in this video, they are going to be what you're looking for. So inside of these pods, you're going to find a bunch of little seeds, and those seeds are attached to what looks like cotton. Now, this is a green plant. It's still early fall, and so this is not yet brown and dried on the stalk. What you can do is you can take a few of these. A few of these will last you an entire season, no problem. There's plenty in there. And you can throw them on, a lot of people throw them on the dash of their pickup truck, like hot, very dry atmosphere, and they'll dry, uh, they'll dry just fine like that. They'll dry out in the field too, they just take a little bit longer. But if you put these on, say, the dash of your window and stuff, the sun will come through your window and it'll heat the, that up. It's a nice dry surface and so they'll, they'll uh, get dry really quick. And when they get dry, they'll lose the stickiness because when you, when you pick a green one, you'll notice that they're really sticky. Well, that milk or that sap inside of the leaves is extremely sticky. Here in the Midwest, you're typically gonna find common or swamp milkweed, but they all typically look pretty similar and they all have that milky sap, the ones that you're gonna want anyway. And so these pods, can be harvested from those varieties. So where are you gonna find these, okay? You're gonna find these anywhere that's not, um, say, uh, pasture land. Uh, they need a little while to grow and to reach full maturity. So if it's mowed for hay, if, it, if it's just mowed for hay once, there's a chance it might be in it, but something like that, like the edges of fields that haven't been mowed, um, roadways are a great place. The sides of like country roads, things like that. Any kind of fallow field, or a CRP, which is the Conservation Reserve Program here in Missouri. Some place like that, where it's not overly disturbed and you've basically let a field grow up. Now what I think is great about these, a lot of times when you're talking about spreading seeds all over the place, um, for someone that's a conservationist or who's, who tries to be environmentally conscious about what they're doing and how they're impacting the ecology, when you start spreading seeds all around, sometimes uh, depending on what that is, if that's not a native or something like that, it can be bad. It can be detrimental. But with milkweed, milkweed is actually the host plant for the monarch butterfly, which has declined in populations severely over the last several years. So by taking these out and using them as such for wind indicators, you're basically spreading them all across the, uh, all across the area that gives them a great chance to be able to germinate, to be able to grow and provide food for the monarch butterfly. Which, you know, why do you care about the monarch butterfly? Well, because it's a part of a bigger ecology and, you know, its population or its, the health of its species can kind of tell you a lot about the health of eco the ecology and the local ecosystem in general. I'm just telling you that so that you can rest assured that spreading these seeds around is actually very good and I highly encourage it for that reason. So once they dry out, you're gonna split them open and you can put them in anything. Um, you can put them in 
So like those little M&M's bottles, the M&M mini bottles, uh, you can stick them in there. Pill bottles, prescription pill bottles. Just as long as people don't think you're a drug addict or whatever. You know, basically any kind of uh, container that you can close, that you can use uh, to keep them dry. You, don't, you stick them in there and you can stick them in your hunting vest or your hunting bag or whatever, or your pocket, and you can pull those out. And they get really, really fluffy once they're nice and dry. And so you can just take that and you can just let it go into the wind and you can follow that and watch it um, from your tree stand or from up on a ridge or something like that that you'll be hunting or glassing from. And you can see where that will blow and by that you can tell where the thermals are because it will blow a very long distance and they're free so you can't really beat that. I've seen, the, the main reason I kind of put this video up is because I actually seen some people selling them which I definitely encourage entrepreneurship that's really cool but if I can save somebody some money um, who lives literally right by these and you don't have to spend you know ten bucks or whatever whatever it is uh, and you can grab these and pick these up and use them you know if I can save you a little bit of money then it's worth me doing the video for. So if you gained some information and some insight into this, if it helped you in any way, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like. Um, think about subscribing. I do a lot of these kinds of videos, and so I hope to see you back here in the future. Anyway, take care and happy hunting.